I stopped worrying about what my audience think about me. Mm -hmm. Instead, I started worrying bigger. I worry that when I leave the stage, I did not change my audience. I did not. I did not make a point that is going to make a difference to my audience. Which means I stop saying the things that they like to hear, and I start saying things that makes them very uncomfortable. I, I remember uh, two weeks ago, I delivered a speech. Uh, for 200 people, it's, an, it's a speech on entrepreneurship. And I got them to raise their hands. How many of you want this DVD that I'm about to give away? And they raised their hands. And then I said, okay, cool, come get it. There were 200 people, but only 30 DVDs to give away. And all of a sudden, it just hit me. I said, do you realize something? Just because you raise your hand and you say you want a DVD, it doesn't mean you're gonna get the DVD. You've been raising your hands, telling people you want success, but I'll tell you what, just because you raise it, doesn't mean you're gonna get it. And later on, the organizer said that, Eric, you know, that was one of the, the profound moments. And I realized that profound moments come when you make them uncomfortable.